Riva Tupando. We have seen a lot of leaks in the last couple of weeks, mostly photos of screen store. And yeah, I'm not really sure I would want to lose my job over leaking some gun skins. Anyway, these leaks confirmed that Riva Tupando will have a Phantom, Ghost, Spectre, Odin and Karambit. You need to give me that, I was pretty close. Now that the release date is right around the corner, I wanted to create a finisher for the Riva Tupando skins because I think it's a bit boring if the two Pandora skins have the same finisher as the first bundle, even though the Riva finisher is really good. Not good so let's get right into creating my concept for the Riva two Pandora finisher with the 3D modeling program Blender. I already created a finisher for the GUN skins before, so I knew where I had to start with the concept. My concept was a big spike in Bale's Omen. Then the spike cracks the floor and opens up a big hole where at the end Omen falls into. And yes, some smoke was there too. Okay, it's a bit ambitious, but I have to try. So, to get started, at first, I needed a place where I could kill Omen. For this location, I chose the Heaven Defender spawn. I think you might have seen this location before if you looked up skins and finishers. Anyway. Now I needed to record a clean plate at this place. A clean plate is a clip with nothing in it so afterwards I can add in anything I want. But to be able to do that, I need to motion track it. Motion tracking is the process of extracting the camera movement from the clean plate so you have a digital camera that moves exactly like the real one. Yeah, 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 exactly like that. And again, like last time, I had some problems. First, it didn't recognize the floor and decided to do this. Then my tracking error was at 0 pixel, which is impossible. But finally, after some tweaking, my track was at 0 0.09 pixel. This is really good. This pixel value says how close we are to the actual camera movement. And everything under 0.5 pixel is great. So 0 0.09 pixel is nearly perfect. Ok, I'm finally done with camera tracking. Now to the interesting part, the animation. This time I chose Omen to be the one to get killed. But before he could be killed, I had to create an IK rig for him. IK means, I know, no wait, uh, wrong script. Uh, IK means inverse cinematic. It has something to do with complicated math. This allows a robot arm to move in a straight line by only giving him the end and start position of the tip. All of the motor positions in between are then calculated automatically. The rig bar describes the skeleton that drives the robot arm inside of Blender. Put the two things together with Omen, I now have an animatable skeleton that is way easier to control because of... I know. Ok, now I have everything prepared to create the finisher. The first step was to animate Omen dying and then getting stabbed by a big ass spike and then die again by falling into the unknown. This was pretty straightforward thanks to the IK rig. And after the animation was done, my motion track camera came into play and I could already see Omen dying in game. But there was no big crack in the floor. There was actually no floor to begin with, so I had to create that first. For the floor, I just needed a plane where I then projected a frame from the clean plate onto. Now, because I motion tracked it, the fake floor sticks perfectly to the real floor. This is pretty cool. Now it was time to destroy the fake floor beneath Omen. I did this in two ways. The first was to animate booleans. Booleans are objects that can cut out each other. This was the simplest way, but doesn't look so good on its own. So I had to combine it with something else. An actual simulation of the floor cracking. I did this simulation by first shattering a plane and then just simulating rigid bodies falling down. Afterwards, I combined it with the boolean and now it's all coming together. To push it closer to the finish line, I added a smoke simulation. This is the same smoke slash fire simulation that I used with the Alloframe Karambit and the Reaver Scythe. Anyways, on to the last part. The first person view of our Reaver Tupando skin. I can't use an actual Reaver Tupando skin because as of the time of recording, Reaver Tupando isn't out yet. So I used my own Reaver Tupando Phantom that I made a while ago. And after that was done, I put everything together. The floor with Omen, the Phantom that Omen was holding, the big spike, the smoke and finally the first person animation. Now I'm finally done and I did all of it in a week's time so I'm really happy. 
Before I show you the final animation, don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what kind of finisher I should make next. Until then, enjoy the final animation.